guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Big John TV Funky Food Friday. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here for a while, thank you for your continued support. Uh, Fridays we try and do funky or foreign, because they both start with an F and it sounds good, right? Funky It's alliteration. Foreign. Right. Um, words matter. Um, we try and find weird, weird odd, abnormal uh, foods. Things that we would never have tried before. We found some good things that way, and we've we have some not we so good things. we have discovered some really odd combinations. Um, you know the the cheese puff, rice krispie oh, treats. Oh yeah, check that one out. I'll put a link. That was just, awesome. You know, goofy things like that. We're just having fun with food. That's what we're doing. Uh, a little bit of a twist today. We're actually going to be in the kitchen cooking, and I, by we I mean her. Um, I will be here to eat. Um, we saw a couple things recently on the internet, and we all. We're very aware that Cinco de Mayo is yep. tomorrow. So we wanted to do these recipes now in honor of Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, that sounds like a good reason. Right? <laughs> All right. So take a look at this one here. And then this one here. Have you guys seen these before? Have you seen those going around anywhere on the internet? Would you ever try these? <laughs> do you know what they are? Right. Can you tell by looking at it? Now, the kids have seen it. The kids have heard us talking about it. And because we've used the word jalapenos, they're nowhere to be seen. They nope the heck out of here. They are <laughs> gone. So it's just mom and dad tonight. Jessica's going to take over in the kitchen, and then we're going to eat. All right, I've got a total of eight jalapenos. I'm going to cut just the tops off four, and these will be for the dessert. Do my best to scoop the insides out. Looks pretty clean to me. All right, let's repeat that three times. The jalapenos for the hot dogs will be easier because I don't have to preserve this end. We get to cut and make a hollow tube. A jalapeno tube. A hollow peño. Looks good to me. All right, we're gonna get started with our sweet jalapeno dessert. In a bowl, we're gonna start with three quarters cup of peanut butter. I like creamy. I'm sure you could use chunky here, but why would you want to? To that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarters of a cup powdered sugar. and a couple pinches of salt. And we blend. We've got our peanut butter mixture into a gallon Ziploc bag. Now we can pipe it into our jalapenos. Last one. All right, I've got some chocolate on the pot melting. I'm using up the last of our uh, taste test chocolate. This is a mix of milk and 90% dark chocolate. Should give it a good flavor on the outside. And we will dip our jalapenos in this. The chocolate and this peanut butter smell delicious. One of my favorite flavor combinations. But I do get a little bit of a smell of the spiciness. I, I'm just not sure about these. All 
What else can I dip in chocolate? All right, these guys are going in the fridge to harden up. All right, next we've got our hot dogs. I've got four hot dogs, four jalapenos. I'm gonna split these lengthwise. Lay some strips of cheese in. Doesn't want to go. Problem solving here, come on. What can we do? Doesn't want to go. the other one again we'll just put cheese in the middle okay come on little doggy <laughs> we got it now I have an even better idea let's not even split it all the way keep that side closed That's working better. Now let's see if I can get even smarter than this cheese and hot dog combination. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it only took me four tries to figure this out. These look like um, masubi with no rice. That could be like the nori. All right, these are gonna chill for a bit and we will grill them up. And we're back. They are done. They smell pretty good. They smell heavenly. Uh, you know, that's a lot of jalapeno. I'm a little bit nervous just biting it straight up like that. <laughs> My fingers were a little spicy after dealing with them. But I love the concept of it. The theory of this is killer. And I definitely learned some tricks while doing it. Some things I would do differently next time. Hey, you know, keeping it real. We're, we're not we're not pros at this. We're just doing what we see on the internet. Sometimes it literally could just be a picture. Yeah, and, and that like, makes it really hard. Yeah, because it's like, let's figure that out. All right, so I think you said you're going to just go straight up. Yeah. You're going to cut it open and, I am. and look at the yeah. inside. I'm going to slice it in half. You want to do that? that way. There's a knife and a cutting board, and I'll let you do that. I've got a bun on a plate. I'm going to load it up. Uh, I think if the jalapeno is going to be a little bit too offensive, doing it in a bun would be a little bit safer. Those are pretty awesome looking though. Look at that. Uh, it, it smells good, that char. Oh look, my cheese fell out. The char of the hot dog and the, and the jalapeno too. It smells really good. Um, and doing it this way, it's keto. It is keto. Well, not, the, not for this one anymore. All right, so I've got that uh, Joy Chestnut Boardwalk Coney sauce going on here. I'm gonna take a bite. Look at that. So there's a little bit of a heat on the back end, but I think I did too good of a job cleaning them out. They don't have much more spice than a bell pepper right now. This is pretty good. It's definitely a big visual thing. Right? That's 
that's delicious. That's absolutely delicious. That works really, really well. <coughs> little, and it, little it, spice in your throat. It's supposed to be, you know? <coughs> if you didn't want it spicy, you wouldn't be dealing with jalapenos. But I like the slight crunch from the pepper. Mm -hmm. They're not total mush. Yep. This is interesting. That's a winner for sure. I, I didn't think this was going to be as good as it was. All right, so, yeah. Thumbs up on these. That's Give delicious. these a try. If you like jalapenos and you like hot dogs, give them a go. All right. The dessert item is done and ready. It's just right there off camera. So let's, we're not even going to clean up. Let's just slide it over and take a bite before they get melty. Now, these ones are funky. Yeah. And these are different because it's totally raw jalapeno. Yeah. And that's a whole lot of a peanut butter mixture there shoved inside and dipped in some chocolate. I'm going to take this one. No real reason other than it looks delicious. I mean, it looks good. You could, if you dipped it further and covered the green. I thought about that. You could trick somebody with these, just so you know. Cover that green, have some peanut butter sticking. I'd be like, oh, it's banana chunks covered in chocolate. Oh, darn it. Look, the peanut butter didn't get to the bottom. All right, well, then I'm going to eat it from the, from the top down. Here we go. Oh. I think that these jalapenos are a bit of a bust. Why so? That one had no kick at all to it, no spice. I wonder if it's just because the sugar balancing it out. Maybe. I was gonna say the same thing. Um, I don't know if it was your prep method, you cleaned them really well, <laughs> the variety of jalapeno, maybe it's a balance of sugar, but these are not spicy at all. Which then, it almost makes it pointless because then it's weird, why am I eating this vegetable with peanut butter and chocolate? Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't go together for me anymore. Well then, the point of this is again, the visual thing. Right. If you only dip it enough, but people know it's jalapeno, that's what you're selling them right now. True. I like the, the fresh flavor of the jalapeno that's in there though. I'm getting that. I am too, but uh, fall apart. I was expecting more of a, a spice. This is messy though. Good grief. Yeah. Meh. Not my favorite, and it was kind of a lot of work for what it is. It's definitely kind of a more of a know. visual. Definitely more impressive. But not as funky as I thought they would be. So these would be really, really good at some sort of a party. Like Saturday night, Cinco de Mayo. Right. Some tacos, whatever you got going on. Have a whole line of these hot dogs lined up. <laughs> you got to get somebody to do all the work, though. And then throw some of these out there on a plate just to freak people out, but they work. They're really good. Yeah. They could be spicier, but I didn't die eating it. And exactly. I got the flavor. And you got peanut butter and chocolate. It's weird. It's funky. Definitely. But it funky. works. Yeah, I, I agree. I think she executed these pretty darn well for just looking at videos and pictures on the internet, too. Yes, I'm quite so, proud of myself. So, well done. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on this video if you're into these kind of videos. Funky Food Fridays. Um, we like cooking, so every anytime, any chance we can get to get in the kitchen and cook with these different days, we're going to do it. Um, if you comment down below, are you a jalapeno fan? Yeah. And would you be willing to try one of these? Yeah. Or is this just completely disgusting? You know, when I saw these on Facebook, it seemed to be about 50-50. People think it was disgusting and people thinking, yeah. I can't wait to try that. Right. And I was kind of on the disgusting side, honestly. Yeah. I, you know, sometimes you just have to go for it because more often than not, we end up being surprised with what we taste. For sure. And these, these are winners. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you.